एवरी वन एंड अ वेरी वॉर्म वेलकम टू डब्ल्यू एस क्यूब टेक सो गाइज इन अ प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव कवर्ड दैट हाउ विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ ब्यूटिफुल सूप एंड फाइंड ऑल फंक्शन वी हैव एक्सट्रैक्टेड डेटाज एंड ऑल्सो वी हैव यूज पैंडर्स टू कन्वर्ट इन टू अ सी एस वी फाइल सो गाइज इन अ टूडे सेशन वी विल बी लर्निंग दैट हाउ वी कैन एक्सट्रैक्ट डेटा फ्राम अ नेस्टेड एच टी एम एल टैग्स नाउ गाइज वॉट इज नेस्टेड एच टी एम एल टैग्स लेट मी एक्सप्लेन दैट टू यू to understand nested html tag we'll go back to our website and if i go to my navigation bar you will see over here that the data uh, for example if i want to get the data suppose i want in our previous session we have learned how to extract all the data but what if if i want to get the data from a single box only so how we can extract a data from a nested data that only we will be understanding for understanding that what i'll be doing i'll be first okay let's just go over here as of now and if i close any of this div for example if i close this one and if i close this one you will now notice that if i scroll over here if i scroll on these uh, my boxes over here are changing which shows me that that each of these are associated each of these tags are associated with each block now all i need to do is copy this class from here and let's get back to our program so in our program i'll be writing import requests from bs4 import beautiful soup let's pass the url here for url we will be taking the url a little later okay for soup we will be writing soup is equals to beautiful soup before that we need to take the request as well so r is equals to requests dot get open close the parentheses where inside it we can pass our url after this we will be writing soup is equals to beautiful soup and not inside a double quotation but beautiful soup and our dot text comma the file will be handled in lxml now what do we need to get over here is all the div tags uh, that are there on our page so all the tags of all the boxes here for that i'll be writing so boxes is equals to soup dot find all and here we will be passing that it's inside the div tag where the class underscore is equal to the class that we have copied from there also we'll go back to the browser and copy this url from here let's paste it back so i'll just paste it and let's print boxes so as soon as i run it it will give me everything that is associated inside the boxes and if you want to see that if it is actually working or not working if i go back to my website you will notice that there are how many there are i guess 21 blocks and the length of these boxes should also be 21 for that we'll go back and we'll find the length of these boxes so len of boxes and let's run it as soon as i run it it tells me that the length of the boxes here is 21 that means we are accurately searching everything now i do not need to get the uh, whole data what i need to get over here is the data of a box for to get a data from a box all i need to do is simply write so we won't be using find all this time but we will be writing um i'll be just putting this here that box is equals to soup dot find instead of writing find uh, all we will be simply writing find what do we need to find again the div so div comma class underscore is equals to inside the double quotes we will pass the same class that has been provided here and we'll paste it here as soon as i paste it i guess i have mistakenly removed the double quotations let's put back those double quotations and here i will be passing the index that uh, which index we are basically looking for so we are looking for index number 2 because 0 1 2 or we can go for any other index as well for example i want to search it for this galaxy tab okay so galaxy tab would be 0 1 2 3 this is how our indexing goes so on number 3 we have this so let's pass number 3 and i wanted to type box over here but i don't know what i have typed by mistake but box over here and let's print it so print box let's run it and there is a key error 3 over here so it works with the find all the find will actually give us the data the find over here will find us the first div tag over here but because we want to find all of them and from them we need to extract what is on number 3 that's why we will use find all instead so here we will be using find all okay and let's put this also inside the comment box because now it doesn't make sense 
Now inside from this box, what do we need to find? We need to find that uh, we will be looking for let's say price or if you want to know the name. For name is equals to box dot find. And we will be passing the for the name I guess we had a tag dot text. Let's print name here. And as soon as I run it, it says galaxy tab 3. That means this is how we have extracted the data. And if I go back here, let's go for the navigation bar and if I choose this, uh, so see it's an A tag and from the A tag we have extracted galaxy tab. Similarly, we have P tag. In P tag we have what description. So we can extract the description as well. The ratings are also there in P tag. That's why we need to define the class. So let's copy the class and go back here. And similarly for description is equals to box dot find and I guess it was p tag comma class underscore is equals to inside the double quotation we will be passing description lastly we will write dot text and print description so now as soon as I run it I will get the description of this tablet that it has uh, 7 inches it is 7 inches 8 GB Wi-Fi Android 4.2 and white in color so this is how you can get the description of any certain box that you want. So this is how you can extract the nested data from any HTML. And if you are talking about anything else, for example, on this page also we have many different things. Uh, for example, we have um, this thing, uh, this navigation bar here, which takes us to home computers, laptops and tablets. Suppose if you want to access this also. So how you can access it is very simple. We have uh, almost the same things here. So... I'll just copy the link from here and paste it back because I guess I messed up with the uh, link here. So let me just put it back. Okay. And let's come back here. So if I want to get anything from this thing, then all I need to do is write inspect. Again, uh, let's just check for it. So it says it's in AR and if I want to access the whole of it, it is in UL. UL over here stands for unordered list so that means this there is a list of elements which are unordered here so all i need to do is uh, get the class so class will copy the class and it's in ul tag so let's get back to our program and here we will write soup dot find all all with the ul tag comma class underscore is equal so it also has an id over here so we need to provide an id because i guess if there are more of these uh, ul tags then it won't be able to find it so we need to provide with the specific id as well so id says side menu Cop let's copy this and for id or you do not have to write the id just like how you write the class you simply have to write id is equals to inside the quotation we have written side menu now from the side menu if you want to get anything for example uh, if i write let's put it inside something so navigation bar it is so nav bar is equals to soup dot find all and from this if you want to find all that means you will be writing uh, let's say text or yeah text is equals to navigation bar dot find all and I need to put a underscore and from navigation bar I guess this computer suppose I want to fetch this computer the computer over here is in a tag and if I need to open this I need to get inside of it. So here we have computer uh, which is in a tag in list items class is active let's copy this so we have list items over here basically and if i close this you can see we are going to different list items here so we have three list items that is home computers and then we have phones so if i want to access computers i need to go inside the list items right so for that i'll be writing in double quotes li comma class underscore is equal to inside the double quotation we'll pass uh, active actually because the name of the class was active here also we can uh, pass the index number so i guess the index number was zero also what we need to do we need to pass the index number so the index number i guess was zero and from here we will be writing dot text or uh, we can directly get the text over here like print text dot text uh, which would look a little different but okay so let's paste this and as soon as i run it 
this index is out of range the 3 is going out of range okay because uh, the previous data we have changed the previous data so let me just put everything over here inside the uh, comments and now let me run it again so object has no attribute dot text do you want to call find or okay let's try it with find and as soon as I run it it's giving me computers laptops and tablets we need to only obtain the uh, computers so for that we will be writing the index as zero so I guess we need to provide the index over here as well and after this we will be writing find all and let's run it again and again we are obtaining zero why we are not getting the index um, so after this navigation bar all we need to do is go back here and here you can see in this navigation bar we have three things we have home computers and we have phones okay now what we need to do we need to get computers and in computers then we have laptops and tablets so we need to get to this thing that computers laptops and tablets so for this I'll come back to my code and because it's on uh, I guess zero index or one index let me just uh, have a look on that again so here it's on one index index one and the element is zero correct I do not have to click on the computers but yeah okay if I click on the back icon so we have we need to get this thing the computers thing so let's get back over here and over here we will be writing that print soup dot find and what we will be finding we will be finding the list items here and for the list item also we have a class I guess here so here the class is active so let's copy this let's come back and paste it over here by writing class underscore is equal to inside the double quotation we will be writing this and we need to obtain its text so we will be writing dot text inside and I guess we cannot use it with print statements let's give it any name so name is equals to this and then you can do one thing here you can write print name dot text and as soon as I run it let's see what output we'll get here this index is out of range I guess we need to go on number zero yes so here we have computers and computers we have laptops and then we have tablets over here so this is how you can find any data from your page if you have any kind of nested data all you need to do is you need to go to its parent class and from its parent class you need to grab that data so I hope guys that you have no doubts in the questions in how we have extracted data from nested HTML tags in our next session we are going to talk about how we can extract data from tables so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you